There are questions tonight about a controversial program launched by the Adams administration to give migrant families prepaid debit cards to buy food and other things they need. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer is here to sort it all out. Marsha. Well, Dick and Dana, Mayor Adams says giving asylum seekers debit cards to buy their own food will save the city millions. But the head of the city council's oversight and investigations committee wants to know why the city issued a $53 million no-bid contract without seeing if it could get a better deal. I think you should bid it out to see who would do the best job at the best cost for taxpayers. Council member Gail Brewer says she wants to investigate a pilot program launched by Mayor Adams to give asylum seekers prepaid debit cards that will allow them to buy food, baby products and other necessities at supermarkets, bodegas, groceries and convenience stores. The $53 million contract reviewed by CBS2 gives the firm Mobility Capital Finance lots of fees for services, including a $125,000 one-time setup fee, $250,000 in annual management fees, and fees based on how much money is distributed to migrants, $1.5 million for the first $50 million handed out, $2.5 million for the next $100 million. The pilot program will involve 500 families staying in short-term hotels like the Row and the Watson. According to the contract, the most a card can have is $10,000, but most cards will be refilled every four weeks. A family of four can get about $1,000, $35 a day, and they can buy whatever food they want to eat. I don't know exactly um, how it's going to work. In other words, I do say from the release that it would be for diapers and baby products and food. But, you know, you have to be careful that that's what it's actually going to be for. Mayor Adams insists it's an innovative way to save money and prevent food waste because many asylum seekers don't eat the food they were given in the hotels and shelters. He said if the pilot program is successful... It is going to save us an area of $7.2 million a year. Uh, I believe $600,000 uh, a month. Were there other people that could have provided the same service for less money? You know, is it, are you getting the best bang for your buck? Without a doubt. The mayor insisted that part of the allure of the company is that it was a minority-owned firm. MWBs, you know, uh, women and minority-owned businesses have historically been locked out. So I know I'm disrupting what people traditionally would like for us to do. Now, the mayor, who has a penchant for surrounding himself with friends and acquaintances, insisted he had no personal relationship with the owner of the company. He said, and I quote, we don't hang out in the Hamptons together or go to baseball games together. And that's what he had to say. All right, Marcia, thanks very much.